Years ago, the great men of America rebelled bravely against the mother country in order to get the rights we deserve, the rights we are all born with today. And in the end, our only regret is that we have but one life to give for our country. Through treason and peril, we began what is known as the greatest country in the world. We declared our independence and established the name the United States of America. We wrote the Constitution and added the Bill of Rights, a glorious aspect of our glorious country. The problem is, is that people have become too accustomed to these rights. During my sophomore year in high school, we had a German exchange student. I became pretty good friends with him, but in the first few weeks he was here, I made a joke about Hitler to him. He got all scared and worried and was telling me, no, 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 don't say that. I said, what? What's the big deal? He explained to me that back in Germany, you can't say anything bad about Hitler and the Holocaust. I had such a hard time believing this because my American rights had become something that I take for granted. But that soon went away. I explained to Robert that here in America you have freedom of speech, which he obviously knew about. He just wasn't used to it. The problem is, is that most of us are way too used to these rights. We take these things for granted and forget that these rights, our American rights, are things that we should be grateful for. We can say what we want, preach what we believe, petition what we believe is wrong, bear arms, have a speedy trial, a trial by jury without excessive bail or cruel or unusual punishment. So many rights with such little respect. Freedom isn't free. These rights weren't created the day the earth was. We fought for this freedom and fought to protect it through wars that were revolutionary, civil, worldwide, in Korea, in Vietnam, in Iraq, and in your family. Your family members that have served in the military have been fighting for you. They work to ensure your freedom, your rights, our rights, for our country, so we can say what we want, preach what we believe, petition what we believe is wrong, and so on. They have given their time, commitment, and hundreds of thousands have given their lives so that you can be your free and funky self. Your rights, your freedoms are what make America great. Don't you think they're worth defending?